Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, the Frosty Planet. We did quite a bit of work since the last one, I don't remember what cycle we were on. Um, I have researched the polymer press, so we got that built, and we will finally be able to use this sweet, sweet nectar um, to make plastic, though I don't know how much. We've only got 120 kilograms of that, and... It doesn't even make plastic at a one-to-one -one ratio, so it's going to take a little bit of work here. Now, another issue. Uh, look at our food. <laughs> I was kind of absentmindedly working on some projects, and I did not realize how quickly uh, we started running out of food once this area warmed up. And I'm not exactly sure how this area warmed up so much. I think it was from cooling off this room. Uh, which is a bit of an issue, so I turned off the thermo sensor for now, so it's not going to, um, it's not going to trigger. But, yeah, you can see we've got a bit of a food issue, so what we're going to have to do, and I've even, wait, wait, oh, okay, they were all stacked up. I was like, we lost some floxes, too. Um, so what we're going to have to do is potentially break into some new areas. There's some meat in here and sure berries. Um, I could also make some omelets. So maybe we do that. Shine nymph eggs don't count for much. So why don't we do seven of those, and I need to cool this area off ASAP. You can see that I uh, have really extended my temp shift plates here, but even that hasn't been massively successful. I accidentally broke into the hot area and discovered abyssalite does exchange temperature. It's a very small amount, but when the abyssalite's 1400 degrees, that does heat things up. So I uh, closed off that area, and I'm working on getting more temp shift plates to steal all this cold and bring it back here. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the best way to do this is because I really need, I really need that cold. Um, another thing I could do is deconstruct the warm temp shift plates and build new ones out of ice that will be cold. That might be something that I do. Um, let's try that. There, select that one, deconstruct. Yeah, I as soon as I realized my food was gone, I'm like, I should probably stop here and make a video. <laughs> because people are gonna wanna see this uh, chaos that I've got myself into. Um, so yeah, let's deconstruct those. I could also, you know what else I could do? I could just start a new farming area. That's probably the easiest in a in a nice cool area. Maybe say here we uh start some new farming. So yeah, let's let's get a little bit more farming going up here where we don't have to worry about that. Oh, and I researched the conveyor loaders because I had thought, oh, I could use my auto sweepers to automatically sweep up the pike apples and send them over here. And then I realized you can't do that until you have unlocked the conveyor. Um, what's it called? Oh, and I have one other piece of exciting news for you guys, too. So the conveyor loader. Where are you? I can't find anything in this tech tree. Um, so, yeah, 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 okay. So we got the conveyor loader and the rails, but you need the conveyor receptacle, which is, of course, another 20 yellow research points. But I did discover up here, this ladder's new, I found uranium. So uranium is a huge discovery, big deal. Um, quite a bit. Those are 100 kilograms per square. And the manual rad bolt generator uses, I forgot how much. One kilogram for five rad bolts, and five rad bolts is half of a research point. So, what does that work out to? Two kilograms per research point. So then that means the uh, 
uranium amounts to 50 research points per square. So yeah, that's plenty. Plenty of research can be done with that amount of uranium. Um, that really helps not having to, you know, power up that thing that absorbed power from the Weasbort. And so I made a manual Red Bolt generator there that processes the uranium. And that means I have researched the steam generator. So we have that. The problem, of course, is that the steam generator um, requires 200 kilograms of plastic. So I'm going to need some more... I'm going to need some more bonbon trees, unfortunately. And, yeah, I mean, it doesn't produce very much nectar. 20 kilograms produced per harvest. So, what is the... Eighty kilograms per cycle. What? That doesn't sound right. This has not been making eighty kilograms per cycle. That's that's certainly not true. Because this only produces nectar when these. Oh, branch productivity nine percent. What's up with that? Oh, I didn't know that. You know, there's so many little things they don't tell you. So if I build more airflow tiles and I build brighter lights, then it'll make more nectar. Um, I don't think I have anything brighter. 1000 lux, 1800 lux. Yeah. Okay. So that will help a little bit to give it more lux. Um, but yeah, uh, I really need to prioritize building some new temp shift plates over here. So utilities, temp shift, ice. Hopefully that can bring some cool coolness to this area. Because most of the ice on the map that I've mined out is, you know, negative 20 degrees or whatever. And I'm gonna high priority that construction. So that should get done. Oh, and another discovery I made is that these mechanized airlocks, they're slower than manual airlocks when they're unpowered. However, at least I think they're slower. I need to officially test that. Um, what would be a good way to test that? I can do this, and I can do that. That'll be a good way to test it. Um, it's funny that if I built them in the other order, that would have ended up being powered. <laughs> anyway, you can automate them, and it will still close the door and lock it. And if we go the other way, it'll open it up. Isn't that cool? So you don't have to power it to automate it. So that's actually really cool that this is a way to player-activated lock down an area you know, if you just have a, a switch, signal switch, um, without even needing power. And so that's really neat. That's a way to allow dupe labor manually and or automatedly. So this is always on, but then the hydro sensor is just going to lock the door if it's, um, it's going to lock the door with a red signal if this is below 100 kilograms or above 100 kilograms. And so that way, once water's gotten to here, it closes off the door and they can't access this area anymore. Right? So so that means this will just stay filled with water, which is awesome. Um, okay, so they're building these temp shift plates. Please be enough to cool things off. I do not have a lot of food right now. Okay, that one was not cold enough. That one was not cold enough. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work. Yikes. Um, and that's negative 14. I could up the valve a little bit. Probably to 5,000 grams. Because I still have some in the reservoir. 
Part of the problem, I don't remember if this was in the video or not, I spilled a bunch of this and it spilled down here and so then it wasn't cooling right and then it went and grabbed a bunch of heat from this and then that heat ended up getting shared up there and so I, we just screwed up all sorts of things. And so I ended up expanding this with more radiant pipes and more temp shift plates. I also realized temp shift plates alone don't exchange that great because it doesn't count as a tile to tile. So you really want tiles next to temp shift plates. And obviously metal tiles would be better, but I'm not rich enough for metal tiles. And I've also found, I believe temp shift plates do not exchange with airflow tiles. And so anyway, by having all these, you know, we're kind of grabbing more heat than if there was just air here. Or, or grabbing more cold, I should say. So yeah, my hope is to cool things off a bit more. We'll see. We'll see if we can actually accomplish that. This is all pretty warm. Negative 25, negative 19. We're already starting to melt all this polluted ice. So yeah, I don't really know if we're going to be able to catch up here. And I redid some of the wiring here. Um, so now this is powered by a transformer. Um, yeah, I did all sorts of little things. <gasps> Yay, some of them are running for a minute. Oh, thank goodness. Ethanol's still only negative 15. Oh, who's stressed out of their mind? Meta Mike? Hmm. High morale. Shouldn't that say low morale? <laughs> um. Oh, no. He has high morale. Okay. So where's the stress all coming from, then? I wonder. Huh. Corn. You also have high morale, so you're fine. All right. Well, that temp shift plate concept seems to have helped for now. A little bit. And we're finally below 15 degrees over here. We should be able to grab a bit more cold. The problem is this whole area is, like, warming up. To that temperature so I don't even know I need to dig through and grab all the cold from over here this is all negative 30 so if I just build temp shift plates all the way and then maybe granite tiles all the way then I can steal more cold from over here I guess. But yeah, we'll we'll let them work on that. This will slowly cool off and I'm going to I'm going to I think I'm going to ditch this idea. This is just a mess. Trying to Yeah, it was just It was a good idea. I think the implementation is that ethanol can't carry enough um heat. It should be able to. The heat capacity is 2.4. That's a little more than half of water. It's still pretty decent. But yeah, the problem is if I cool off this area, it just it warms the ethanol up so much. Um, you know, that it then sends warm ethanol to this area. So I really should have made maybe two separate loops for that. And what's going on with CO2? Are we still okay? We're okay on CO2. Bonbon bon tree, now we're at 36% productivity. That's better. So, now it produces what? It still says 20, which is not right. Um, what is exactly the... So it said 80 per cycle. So that would be at max harvest. Range productivity 36%. Optimal lux is 10,000. Jeez. 
That's crazy. Okay. I'm gonna put that as priority six. That's pretty decent. Oh no! They warmed up again. We are sending negative 16 degree ethanol. Reservoir still has some extra space in it, so I'm going to send more uh, fluid per, per blubble again. That'll increase the cooling capacity of each blubble. And then, I mean, I'm just gonna keep building temp shift plates. This is so bad. I tell you, this is not the optimal strategy. Um, pretty sure about that. Pretty sure about that. The good news is we have lots of natural gas. Is this dormant yet? 17 cycles. What I'm worried about is we're gonna run out of natural gas. I don't know if there's enough natural storage in here for the dormancy period. I guess I could do some quick math. If I'm averaging a hundred, where's the number? Oh, there, 122 grams a second. And if I multiply that by 600, that's the same as multiply by six. So we've got what? Seven, 700, 720 um, kilograms. Take off a zero, 72 kilograms per cycle. Wait, is that right? Oh God, that's really bad. Yeah, that's 72 kilograms per cycle. Oh, geez. Yeah, so each one of these only holds 50 seconds. So I need 10 tiles per cycle that it's dormant to, to basically hold. Oh, no. This is bad. So there's... N I'm going to run out of natural gas while it's dormant. And then I'm going to have power problems again. And I'm going to need dupes to spin on hamster wheels all day long. Oh, no. How much... Storage does a gas reservoir hold? There are also ways to make gas infinitely dense, kind of like cheesy ways. I don't love those cheesy methods. Um, they feel like they go a little bit against the spirit of the game. You know, where you like... It like allows you to output the gas into a tile because that tile has like a liquid in it, but then it moves into the other tile because of some rule, and then it just never... Like, even though it would be overpressure, it never gets to overpressure because of that. Anyway, these can hold a thousand kilograms. That's equivalent to 200 uh, tiles. Thousand kilograms is equivalent to 10,000 seconds of that. Yeah, I should definitely. Um, I should build this. Problem is, I don't really have a great spot for it. I guess this is it. Yeah. Build it here. Deconstruct that gas pipe. Okay. So then that should, uh, it is going to be dormant in 17 cycles, but hopefully we can build up a decent amount to get us through that 30 day, 31 day dormancy. Because each, I said 72 kilograms a day. So then a thousand kilograms is going to get me through about 15 cycles. So that will get me through about half of it. And then this should get me through a decent chunk of it. And then finally at the end, we might run out. But it'll only be a few cycles at that point. Calories, we're doing okay. I can't believe I forgot to plant all of these. Get growing up there, please. All right, build more temp shift plates here. 
get over to these nice and cold materials. So the heat capacity, what well, has the highest? Ice has the highest. The heat capacity of ice is quite high. So getting to those ice tiles is the most cold that we can get back. Iron ore is fairly low. Yeah, there's negative 30 degree ice down there, which is pretty good. The main reason for these, though, is, is to just kind of conduct along the tiles. What are we down to? Negative 16.8. Awesome. Okay. So the cooling should start working soon. Um... Should I delete the temp shift plates now? Because they're, they're now a thermal mass that I have to fight to bring up. Um, but they're already negative 13, which is really close to where I want to be. And once they're in the right range, then they're a thermal mass that keeps things where it's supposed to be for a while. So, I guess for now I'll keep it. I'll keep it the way it is. And we'll just have to wait a couple minutes here. Yeah, we should get there though. Because now we've got a negative 24 on the end. And that will work on <laughs> carrying back that temperature all the way home. I guess I'd get a little bit better results if I can get one Tim shift plate next to those ice, next to those ice tiles. Um, okay, those are still not growing, but now these are growing, and they only take three cycles to grow, which is awesome. So even if I only get one harvest from those, that still is plenty. Okay, what else do I need? I think I need anything else. I need more ceiling lights for the bonbon. Um, let me go to the light overlay here. So what is the how does light work? I don't know, but I think if I were to put a couple more over here, it would still help. So I might as well. They're only 10 watts, and now that I have a consistent 800 watt source, that helps. And this can finally allow me to get Steam set up. Um, I am a bit uncertain how we're going to do this. Because that obsidian is so hot, I can't take it anywhere. Um, but they're going to try to sweep it, so I'm going to need to somehow not sweep any of that material. And basically, I want to mine through this abyssalite. It's going to be hot as heck, and then immediately build metal tiles right there. And those metal tiles are going to get real hot. Like, what's the melting temperature of iron? Will I even be able to build it? Um, I don't have any iron. Can't find out. Can't find out. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay. Wait, did I use? I must have used extra iron on something else. Um, let's make 10 iron, 12 iron. That should be fine. To mine some more iron ore at some point. There's a decent amount right here. Okay, what's our temperature? Negative 17.5. Perfect. This is cooling things off. I 
think we might not starve to death. <laughs> Jeez, that was close though. That was close. Also, the radioactivity here is not too crazy. Because uranium's not crazy dense, which is good. The wheeze board's more radioactive than the... The flippin'... Oh no, the polluted ice thing is happening again. I still... There's gotta be a way... I mean, obviously, eventually, this is gonna create enough heat that it'll actually be spilling polluted water. But right now, it's just freezing immediately, and they're sweeping up that polluted ice at a... I guess that's at a four. Okay. Yucky lungs. I keep getting sick. I don't know what I'm doing. Two tons of metal ore, I will take. Oh. So you have to feed it pl the liquid monomer with a pipe. Which means I have to put nectar in a pipe. Which means I'm going to have to bottle empty into a liquid pump. That just feels so dumb to me. That there isn't a way. I still feel like I'm missing it. I know I've looked at these a hundred times. But I feel like there should be a way for dupes to put bottles into, into a machine that then puts it into the pipe network. Like, feeding basically the ability to deliver to a pump is kind of what I'm getting at. Rather than having to combine bottle emptier plus pump. That just feels weird to me. And we have polluted water here. Rick, how did that happen? Sometimes I'm not really sure, actually. How did that happen? Hmm. I actually have no idea. But yeah, I'd really like to start working on a steam chamber. Um, even just to collect... To collect the generic heat from my base. We can use an aqua tuner. And then... The steam turbine to offset the aqua tuner. How much power? It's only 850 per steam turbine. So I'm gonna need like... Three steam turbines in the chamber. Or at least that's the amount that I want to be able to collect. Um, hmm. Yeah. Where do I build this chamber? Maybe over here? This is a nice open area for now. It's close enough to the volcano I can even potentially pipe the heat up with a few metal tiles. Surrounded by some insulated tiles. That's an idea. I can make ceramic now. Which is very good insulation. Yeah, I can make ceramic here with clay. I forget, what do I, how do I make clay? I have a way to make this. Now. Oh yeah, the Bamoth patties. That's right. And the deodorizers are slowly slowly producing clay for me in random spots and this makes carbon dioxide and steam both very hot so why don't we just and we kind of want the steam to cool off into water Maybe I just gas pipe. Down and over. Make a gas vent there. Okay, negative seventeen. Are we cooled off yet? No, still not. Still not cooled off. Oh, cause this thing's running. That's the problem. That's adding more heat back in. I don't want that running. Um, 
Where's the controller for that? Oh, it's this. This is the controller. So the high threshold needs to be 10%. Do not run if you're above 10%. And that'll turn this off. There we go. Okay. Yeah, because that's actually adding heat back in. We don't want that. We need to be cooling this area off for now. Should be okay eventually. Oh, frick, we're at zero kcals. All right, emergency time. That flox can go. Um, I could take out a wild mammoth. There are some plume squashes down there. So if I enable, if I enable this, I should be able to go collect a plume squash. that meat. Yep, yep, yep. Make barbecue. And then if I access up here, I would get some more barbecue. These are almost grown. They're only like a, th a third of a day away, so I'm just gonna wait. Whoa, where did all that? What the heck? Oh, it's counting that meat as available. Oh, there must be meat out here that they can go fetch. That must be what's happening. Because I opened up access to this area again. Oh no. Lodro's dying. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Food. Food. Guess what? I found some food that I don't need. Nice. I completely forgot about that. Sweet. Okay, that should help a little bit. Now nobody should starve. And this will finally cool off. We'll build those. And then I'll build in the tiles. What I'm curious about, I need the aqua tuner sooner rather than later. Um, yeah, so how wide is the steam turbine? That's the problem. I need 800 kilograms of iron. Yeah, all that heat from the metal refinery being wasted right now. I also still don't have a coolant for it, do I? Um... Yeah. Like... I don't have... any petroleum on the map. That I can see. Maybe there's some over in this corner. But I have to. Well, what can I use then? Is there a synthetic material I can make? What's nectar do? Could I use nectar? Um, it has a high heat capacity, and it goes from negative 82 up to 160. That's actually not terrible. The problem is it's just hard to get enough of it. Um, but nectar could work. That's interesting. Alright, now this very much needs a mechanical filter set up and an automation set up. So, let's see. How do I automate you? First off, we need a gas valve. And 
and then it loops. Let's see. How does this work? It goes past the gas valve. No, no, no. We have a gas bridge. And basically that will land on a loop like this for the valve. And then it can go past like that if it's the right thing, which will be oxygen. And because there's oxygen held up in the pipe, I'm hoping that this will get it nice and primed with oxygen. Okay, and we're gonna need a stupid pump for this. I don't know why this bothers me so much, but it does. Maybe just because it's annoying to set up. No. Because uh, we need bottle emptier, we need tiles. There's really no other way to get... Huh. I do need a pump. Now, there is a miniature pump. Um, so having that could be nice. But that's 20 points. But maybe I'm going to start working on that just to make my life easier. I'll still need a bottle emptier, unfortunately. Okay. Perfect. So then the valve to one gram a second. And then I deconstruct this. And then I can have... Anything that doesn't land on top of that, just go right past. Perfect. Okay, so there's a mechanical filter for oxygen, and now I need an automation setup to turn this pump off. Whenever... Maybe I just do a gas sensor? Hmm... Yeah, maybe as long as there is oxygen on this tile, then we turn it off. It sends a green signal when it's detected within a pipe. Uh, so I need a not gate. Not gate. And then we connect that up to here. And then I should be able to turn that off. As far as power network, this was on its own, but I should be able to connect it probably to this one. Right now that's 240 plus 120, that's only 360, yeah. I can just connect that up. I should be able to deconstruct that battery then. And disable the hamster wheel for good. You're gonna look at breathable oxygen. Okay. So with any amount of luck, this will equate to automated oxygen for the Atmos dock. Let's see if that actually works out. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. And now I'm gonna need to enable you again. Make rad bolts. Let's see, that makes five rad bolts per craft. Ten rad bolts per point. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot more than ten. Wait, so each crafting is only half a research point? Jeez, that takes forever. That's rough. And who just, how'd you take damage just now? 
How'd you get wounded? Um. Interesting. Was it the radioactivity? I don't know. Uh oh. Oh, never mind. That's just how much you need to be exposed to contract something. Okay. I was worried. I was like, how did I get zombie spores? Oh man, zombie spores are scary stuff. Okay, are we growing faster? 47. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit better. Uh, free food? Yes, yeah, 16,000 calories too. That was timely. Okay, I should be good on food then for a while. Let's, uh... How do I disable... Disable harvest. I also want to disable... Um... Errands to the farm tiles. Like, I don't want to uh, deliver uh, stuff. But it. Is there not a way to disable these? You can disable most buildings. But it doesn't seem you can disable those. I find that interesting. I kind of just want to let them die naturally, you know? But you have to uproot them on purpose, I guess. All right, what's the temperature at? Negative 18? Okay, that's great. We should be cooling off soon here. And now let's start working on a chamber for our thermo aqua tuner. So it's gonna be here. And... We're gonna need a lot of insulated tiles. It doesn't need to be the biggest chamber, I think. For now, something like this. It'll need to be wider at some point along the top. We can pretty easily stretch that out. Um, so we'll do something like that. And then that way we can fit a couple aqua tuners in here. And I will build one. Thermo Aqua Tuner. So that's how we will add heat in. As far as pipes, we'll have insulated pipe in. Uh, I don't think the overheat temperature matters, because as long as it's not the melt. That only matters for buildings that run. So cold in. Hot out. And then... In this case... We'll run those all the way over there. Power is going to need to be heavy watt. These things are hungry. Hungry, hungry, power hippos. Oh, but how are we going to get heavy watt through? Because these joint plates have so much temperature trade. That's frustrating. Hmm. I want something with low thermal conductivity. Interesting. Does those take 1.2 kilowatts alone? I could use conductive wire, and that can go through. Ah, uh, but it's so expensive. But maybe that's the play. Maybe that's the play. 
But then I need a large power transformer. Um. Hmm. Interesting. And I need a battery. How hot can these batteries get? Not very hot. Okay. Um. How have I done this before? I'm like, not having a, a good memory of this. How do I run? It's gotta be conductive wire. I'm just gonna do that to start. I only need five tiles for now. Okay, so that is a very large construction project. And some of it's gonna be unreachable, so we're gonna have to get some more tiles here. Deconstruct all that. I don't need the light fixture. Demolished. I will need granite walls deconstructed. And yeah. Okay. This is the beginning of our Aqua Tuner stages. Cool, cool, cool. How is this still not cooled off? Oh my goodness. We're at negative 18. Come on. Farm tiles are negative 14. They are. They are slowly. It's just these temp shift plates are taking forever. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay, so I think it is the radiation that's hurting Meta Mike. They keep. They're at 62 health now. I don't know what's going on. Gotta be the rad dose, right? What's the amount of rad dose you need to take before you take damage? I do not know. Now shouldn't this automatically assign? heal up there. Alright, our temp shift plates are finally negative 14. So we're very close to these bushes coming back to life again. Oh, there was one. This one should follow soon after. Ah, oh, goodness. It's taken some serious work. And a lot of temp shift plates. <laughs> oh my goodness. Really funny. Trying to soak up a lot of cold over here. What happened here? Something melted. Probably one of these ice tiles. Um, just gonna preemptively. Build those. Yeah. Ice caps are melting here. We have 13.2. It's not cooling off more. Uh, 
That ice temp shift is negative 14.8. That's good. Overheated? The heck? What is going on? What? Oh, is it because this iron is sitting here? I don't know what is going on. How did so much heat get over here? I mean, it does make 16,000 DTUs. So is it because there's water on the ground and it's spreading the temperature? That's probably what's happening. Um, interesting. That's going to warm up the ethanol a bit. Again, I think we have enough in the reservoir. Larger blurbs means better cooling. Nine kilograms of ethanol. Oh no, these are not running again? Oh my gosh. What the heck? Really? What what brought the warm temperature? The ethanol is negative 16. But now those temp shift plates are negative 13 again. They were negative 14. I'm so confused on how they warmed up so fast. Those were just negative 14. Huh. How did these get warm? Maybe that ethanol was really hot for a second. That, that must have been what happened. I don't even know. I don't even know. I've given up on understanding what's going on here. The thermo aqua, tu aqua tuner is going to save me and that's all there is to it. <laughs> That's my only hope. That's my only hope. On the, on the other hand, or in the good news, my research is almost done for miniature pumps. Fourteen out of twenty. Okay, and then the conductive wire. Let's see, I'll need a battery. Trapped, uh-oh. What? How did you guys get down there? Um, I actually have no idea how they got down there. Okay, so. You guys should be able to get out if you just do that. Don't worry, you won't suffocate. Just mind the tiles I told you to mine, you'll be home free. There you go. You guys are good to go now. Oh, the Atmo suits can be worn out? That is interesting. Uh, so we have to go to the forge and do repair Atmo suit. Interesting. Okay, we'll do that forever. Because I want to go get some aluminum. I'm curious if aluminum will increase the overheat temp of the aqua tuner or not. Is that an unreachable build? 
I think it'll be reachable once that's built. Um, Alright. Oh, the coolant got too hot. Coolant must have boiled. Damn. So that's set too high, maybe? Maybe it needs to be 2,000 again. I had it at 3,000. That seems to be a bad plan. Yeah, it's also getting warm in here. It's 33 degrees, but I can't afford to cool it down. Because we're working on cooling this part of the base, and that is hard enough. Jeez. Definitely hard enough. Unfortunately, I can't build it out of aluminum ore for a better overheat temperature. I'd have to build it out of steel. But 125 is still... I don't know. We would just have to run the steam generator pretty quick. You know, as soon as the water in here gets to 110, it should be boiling into steam, etc., etc. Um, so we'll see. Um, the mini pump, are we done with that yet? No, I still need four more. Four more. That should do it. Okay. Food is a little iffy. I think we're okay for now. This cooling loop is working for now. We're sending negative 18 degree. So I think pretty soon this area should finish cooling off. I'm gonna deconstruct those temp shift plates on top. They were negative 12. Changing those by 2 degrees is a lot of, uh... That's a lot of heat. That's, you know, 1600... Uh, 16... What am I saying? Yeah, 1600 DTU... 1600,000 DTUs. For every degree we want to change. So that's 1.6 million DTUs. So I think we'll just not do that. And then maybe maybe I build a new one and hope that they grab cold ice instead of warm ice. Build one like here. Let's see what temperature we- oh no, it's negative 10. Nope, cancel that. I don't want that. Yay, the research is complete! Mini liquid pump. Where are you? Of course, it's 100 kilograms of plastics. Um, but it only needs 60 watts, and it only moves 1,000 grams a second, but that's plenty when you just need a little bit. Um, so for now, I'm still going to need a bottle emptier. This is just ridiculous that I set this up. Um, where do I even put this? I want it to be near here, but I guess I can deconstruct this and put it right next to it. But is two, two tiles is not enough uh, for the flipping... Whatchamacallit. Bottle in here. I guess I don't need. I only need one. One tile like this should do it. Bottle empty here. Good pump. Good pipe. That should. That should all work. 
Okay, well, I think we need to call it an episode there. Hopefully in the next episode we will have our plastics. But, uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next episode.